Porsche has confirmed that the all-electric 2024 Porsche Mark and EV will be revealed on January 25th, ahead of its arrival in Australia in the fourth quarter of this year. The German sports car manufacturer posted a new teaser of the all-new mid-size battery electric SUV's taillights last week, and we'll have to wait until next week for more details, including possible local pricing and full specifications. In Australia, the electric second-generation Markin is a straight replacement for the present combustion-powered range, which will be phased out in the third quarter. The Markin EV will provide a significant increase in performance with dual-motor models offering up to 600 horsepower and 737 pound-feet of torque, while the 800-volt electrical design will enable fast charging at up to 270 kilowatts. Here's all we know about the Porsche Markin EV thus far. Hello and thanks for tuning in. Before we go any further, please take a moment to support us by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new videos. And remember, sharing is caring. Okay, let's get back to it. Porsche first ventured into electric vehicles with the Taycan a few years ago. However, the company's goal of having more than 80% of its sales come from EVs by 2030 will necessitate electrifying the remainder of its portfolio, with the possible exception of the 911. This procedure starts this year with the all-new Porsche Mark and EV. The Mark N is not one of Porsche's most recognizable sports cars. However, it is Porsche's best-selling vehicle, with sales routinely exceeding those of the 911, 718 Cayman Boxster, and Panamera. So powering the Mark N is a significant step toward turning electric. Porsche has confirmed that the all-new Mark N EV will be unveiled on January 25, 2024, at an event in Singapore. The brand has not yet revealed a manufacturing date, but journalists are driving Mark and EV prototypes in the United States. There's reason to believe the Mark and EV will arrive dealerships before the conclusion of the 2024 calendar year. The electric Markin's interior will be inspired by the Taken. Porsche's first official inside photographs of the all-electric Markin show a broadly familiar layout. The company isn't known for radically changing its designs on a whim. The Taken EV's impact can be seen in a few places. The number of an electronic shift lever on the dash, the passenger's side display, and the all-digital instrument cluster. Fortunately, physical climate and radio volume controls are still available in the center console. True Porsche fans will also notice that the crest on the steering wheel is rendered in the dark gray known as Turbonite, implying that the top-tier Markin EV will be named the Markin Turbo. The upcoming electric Markin will be a four-door coupe SUV, while the larger KN comes in both standard two-box SUV and swoopy SUV coupe body types, the gas-powered Markin has only ever provided one, and this appears to be the case for the electric variant as well. All official preview photographs of camouflage prototypes and unofficial spy shots indicate a very tiny crossover with a silhouette similar to the BMW X4 or Mercedes-Benz GLC class coupe. The Porsche Markin EV will employ a new electric vehicle chassis. The new Markin will be the first Porsche to use the new premium platform electric PPE platform created by Porsche and Audi. This should lead to more powerful and efficient electric motors. The Markin EV will have 800 volt fast charging capacity, allowing it to charge from 5 to 80 percent, the maximum charge most people do at a fast charger in less than 25 minutes. The Markin EV will also feature bank charging, which divides the battery into two 400-volt packs to improve charging on slower fast chargers. Porsche has verified the battery capacity to be 100 kilowatt-hours or 95 kilowatt-hours of usable capacity, and as previously stated, the vehicle has an 800-volt electrical design that supports up to 270 kilowatts of DC charging. Meanwhile, a maximum of 11 kilowatts of AC charging is supported, with a higher AC charging output rating expected for the Markin. According to Porsche, with a drag coefficient of 0.25, the battery range will be more than 500 kilometers on the WLTP test procedure across all versions. Now let us talk range, which is where things become interesting. Kyle from Out of Spec Reviews and Dr. Robert Meyer from Porsche went on a highway range test that lasted over five hours. At the conclusion of the test, the trip computer displayed the following results. A total distance of 322.5 miles, 1% battery capacity, an average energy consumption of 28.9 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, and an average speed of 60 miles per hour. The air conditioner was switched on, the temperature was 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and the adjustable ride height was set to the lowest setting 
to enhance efficiency. However, the brake regeneration was switched off. And if the performance is consistent, the battery electric Porsche Marken and those who purchase it should be happy. The automaker brought two prototypes to Southern California and let Edmunds writer Brian Wong drive one of them. The goal was to conduct an exceedingly unscientific out and back range test at 70 miles per hour. Wong intended to leave his hotel, take the highway, drive east at 70 miles per hour on Los Angeles freeways for as long as possible before turning around and driving back to the hotel at 70 miles per hour. If he was successful, he'd arrive at the valley stand at the end of the drive with practically no miles remaining but not so close that he'd run out of charge, having reached an average speed of at least 40 miles per hour. The two Markin EVs represented two upcoming trim levels. Wong drove what will be the top model, which was previously known to produce around 603 horsepower and more than 737 pound-feet torque. A Porsche engineer followed in the lower trim. Juan reported that back at the hotel, the Markins' gauges showed 298 miles covered and 7 miles remaining in the tank at an average speed of just north of 60 miles per hour. We believe this is an exceptional performance. The Porsche Markin EV will have a rear bias power distribution. Porsche has stated that the rear electric motor will be as far back as possible on the Markin EV, providing the weight difference a modest rearward skew for improved performance dynamics. Higher trim levels will include an electrically controlled rear differential. It will also have rear wheel steering with a maximum angle of 5 degrees. It will also have larger staggered rear tires for better grip. The electric Markin will include a clever suspension. It will be equipped with Porsche Active Suspension Management PSM, with steel springs and air suspension as options. The Markin EV will feature two valve shock absorbers that work separately, providing further control and improvements while enhancing comfort. The air suspension will be able to lower the body at high speeds, improving aerodynamics. Finally, we expect the Markin EV to eventually replace the combustion Markin. Initial plans plan for Porsche to discontinue the current generation combustion Markin in 2025 or 2026 after the EV settled in, but Porsche has reportedly warned US dealers that it may keep the combustion Markin after that, depending on sales. The Markin is critical to Porsche's aspirations to boost profit margins. With several automakers scaling back their most aggressive EV adoption goals, it appears that the gas-powered Markin will remain in production for the foreseeable future, at least as long as there are still interested purchasers. The Markin EV's price is currently unknown but expected to be higher than the current petrol-powered SUV, which starts at $93,800 plus on road fees. And that concludes today's video. Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.